And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. Here's Pete Gray and rock cod Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with rock cod Rick Maxa in the Mighty 1090 studios with the guys from Make-A-Wish Tuna Challenge. Brad and Ken talking fishing, talking Make-A-Wish, and all the good things of this big tournament coming up. August 25th and 26th. It's going to be fun. You got it, buddy. going to be a great time, and what a cool event and a cool opportunity. And, man, if you want to join us, get in the fun. You've got questions about Make-A-Wish. If you've got questions for the docs, we want to hear from you. It's going to be a great show and a lot of fun in this second hour. Two ways you can reach us. First is with our local line. That's 858 area code 457 1090. Again, 858 457 1090. That's a local number. Or again, reach us toll free. That one's 877 792 1090. 877 792 1090. We're not only talking Make a Wish, we're also giving away such a generous prize. One lucky caller at the end of the show today is going to win a hundred tickets into that killer Make a Wish raffle. Again, the event's August 25th and 26th. Portuguese Hall, if you're not going to participate in the fishing tournament, which you should, definitely, definitely do not miss this killer awards banquet, killer lunch, and amazing raffle. And someone is getting 100 tickets into that Think raffle. Think about what that could win. What could 100 raffle tickets win, Brad? Uh, well, if you if you go to the Progressive Raffle, it could win uh, pr- um, trips. It could win fishing tackle, all sorts of all sorts of things. Yeah. Je- jewelry, so the women are in on it, too. Wow. Yep. Wow. And, and th- thousands of dollars yeah. in prizes, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Two tens, speed, of, tens of thousands yeah, of dollars. Yeah, two-speed reels, luxurious fishing trips. I mean, bait, it's just a, it's a, it's an unbelievable opportunity. And the, the, I don't think that there's an event that happens in San Diego that no. has a raffle like this. And, and, and the cool thing is, is that it all benefits such a great cause. And it's such a great event, too. The fishing tournament is great. The... The banquet at the Portuguese Hall on Sunday is amazing. I mean, that's the only way I've been to it. It's it's an amazing event. Yeah, same. Never miss it. It's it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. You guys work your tails off. A lot of volunteers. A lot of volunteers. So yeah. we need volunteers. Yeah, and so and how do you volunteer? Again, you can go on the, uh, the website and contact us through that, and then we can get you hooked up with our volunteer coordinator and get it all worked out. Yeah. So I have a question. It's the Make-A-Wish Tuna Challenge. Do Benita count? Uh, Bonita do not count. They don't because count. They, are, be tough for this they are not officially a tuna, but any other type, type of tuna counts. <laughs> any other type so of tuna. Laguna tuna? tuna? Right. Uh, do right. Calico bass right. count? Uh, calico bass right. do not count. Do not count. But, okay. Right. But, but we do. We actually do have uh, uh, yellowtail and dorado uh, prizes. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. They do count for the points. It, it is a point system, so it's not just the largest tuna. It's the highest scoring points uh, for individuals and teams, so... Uh, billfish count, swordfish or marlin will count for points, uh, but we also do have individual prizes for largest dorado, largest yellowtail. Oh, okay, so how do that give us a, yeah, kind of a yeah, description of how the points work? So uh, for any type of tuna, it's one point per pound. Okay. Uh, if you are lucky enough, uh, any type of tuna meaning basically yellowfin or bluefin. Yellowfin, bluefin, skipjack. Big, skipjack caught. Skipjack is a tuna, so is that would tuna? count a wow. big eye if we happen to get a big eye. Albacore, if you happen to get an albacore. Okay. Um, those all count. So those are okay. one Albacore should be count. automatic win, just because we <laughs> need it so bad. Like, <laughs> you win. You, so, you win a rare. Day. Right. Yeah. A rarity. <laughs> so, 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 is it limit? Could you catch 50 skipjack and bring them in? Or is it limited? Oh, no, no. You, you, you do have to abide by the fishing regulations okay. of the state and, uh, and of Mexico if you're Mexican waters. Okay. Um, but it, it's, it's for the uh, individual, it's your, it's your highest scoring point fish. Okay, so uh, one for competi- fish counts. For, for the individual, for the team, and there is team uh, prizes, it's the four largest fish 
uh, highest scoring point total fish for the entire team. So okay. that's what I like about it is all of the different categories you could win. You know, Pete, you and I, and you know, could be on a boat with another couple of buds, and you know, your your individual um, fish counts as a prize, as well as our teams. You know, like you could win first place, I could win second place, and then our team could win. You know, the large boat division or, or vice versa. Uh-huh. There's so right. many like ways that one can win and. Um, so individual is your single largest fish, and boat is your combined total of points for the boat. Is that how it is? Combined uh, t- top four fish for the boat. Top four, okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, top one four. Yep. One year when uh, when my dad and I were fortunate to win, we we actually our four fish were we had the the biggest fish, which was a big eye tuna, but we had two albacore, a yellowfin, and a big eye. That those wow. were our four you know top mm-hmm. uh, point scoring fish. So it's really you know, and you could get a you know a huge dorado, you only get a half point per pound but you know it really depends on how big the other fish are and or you could get like a 290 pound swordfish which would be you know yeah. worth about you know almost 75 yeah. points of course also automatic win like. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> De- definitely automatic win in or out of the tournament <laughs> and, 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 and you're allowed to release one one marlin one mar- count, yeah one marlin four. per team uh, has to be released but that'll be an automatic 25 points okay, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. great. Yeah, it's killer. Yeah, fun tournament. It's all about having fun and a little friendly competition to raise money for a great cause. Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. All right, eight five eight four five seven ten ninety or eight seven 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 nine two ten nine. Let's jump in the phone. You got it, man. How about we talk to Rob? He's calling us from La Jolla this morning. What's up, Rob? Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, Rob. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, my question is, you guys kind of just briefly went over it. Was there any spotting of any albacore at all out there lately? If you go up to Washington, yeah. you're going to catch a, <laughs> <you're> gonna, <laughs> a really good <laughs> chance of catching an albacore. Right <laughs> Westport, Gotta Washington. Gotta go to Washington. Right? It's a little pot, kind of far. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of far, but I, uh, uh, that's where they are. I talked to Aaron Barnhill the other day on the dispatch radio at the landing. I had a, a tuna question for him, and... He was fishing, you know, he's up there catching albacore now, formerly of the Shogun, and he said that the fishing's been great. You know, they were on a they were on a really good a really good trip and fish were biting and they were happy with weather and happy with fishing. So sounds like our you know, our SoCal tuna fleet that's up there catching catching albacore are having a great trip again, just like you said, up in Washington and, yeah. and very good fishing to be had. But it was fun kinda of getting the blow by blow on the radio and those guys are talking about having a two hundred fish day and we're doing this and that and oh. sounds like there's some really good fishing to be had. Good. That's yeah. good information. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I know there's a lot of the old captains, J. J. Garrison sure. yeah. and, and, and such up there fishing albacore. Now. Yep. Yeah, it's uh Aaron. Is, is, Aaron, Aaron, is it Aaron's first season up there? It's his sec- second, second or third. I think I believe second run in the boat. And Charlie, who was formerly of the boat, is fishing with him on on there. Uh-huh. This is his crew member. So yeah, it's, it was cool, kind of catching up with the boys. Like it's uh, it's been good. The 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 swivel that we like to use for our um, yummy flyer fishing is from that that world, that bait pole world. It's just like the, it's like a snap swivel, but um but a hundred times more heavy duty. We call it a pigtail swivel. And um, for a time, they were, like, gone from, you know, we couldn't find none of the none of the people that carried them down here. So since that's a bait pole thing, we called him on the satellite dispatch radio saying, hey, where, where, are, the, where are the Westport guys getting those things? So that's why we, uh, we got a hold of them. Yeah, we got them now. We got, we got a whole bunch of back in stock. But, um, yeah, it was really cool just catching up with those guys and hearing about all the good albacore fishing they have. So that fish is still around. That's why we know that it will happen again. It's not like that fish has disappeared. It's not like it's fished out. It, they're still very, very good fishing, just the conditions and currents and whatever they may be, that fish – hits the coast above us nowadays, and one of these days that cycle is going to switch back around and it will be good it down here happen. again. It, 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 it will happen. At some yeah. point, you know, that will be a fish for us again. But in the meantime, we're just going to have to settle for cow bluefin and epic uh, epic kelp patty fishing. Yeah, we'll take yep. it. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Uh, you have a prediction, guys, on when we're going to see albacore again? Come on, you're doctors. You yeah. know things that other people <laughs> don't. I figured, you know, after the El Nino, it was going to be three or four years. So I, I'd been thinking we were going to maybe see it in the next couple of years that, you know, but, you know, we're getting, we're getting, you know, our atmosphere is changing. We're getting warmer water every year, slightly more. So I think if we get them again, we're just not going to get them like in the old days where we had 10-year cycles. We may get, a you know, a mix. So I don't know. Brad, what do you think? I think we'll get them when we get off the plane in Washington. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's the smartest answer. There. That you know for sure. All right. Are you going up there fishing? 
Uh, not not there, but, but I, I might now after, yeah. after hearing the reports. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's, there, there's, and there is a fleet up there, I guess, of live bait totally. fishing, uh, sport fishing boats that, that goes. That would be cool. It's kind of fun to get a report sometime from. Yeah, we should. Well, we'll have to get a hold of Barnhill. I'm sure he'll. I'm sure he'll fill us in with it. Or JJ, you know, yeah. I'm sure we can get one of those guys have to call in. Yeah, dope us up one of these days and give us the give us the Albacore report. Absolutely. That'd be fun. Absolutely. Eight five eight four five seven ten nine. Let's jump into the phone. You got it, man. How about we talk to Jim? He's calling us from National City this morning. What's up, Jim? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Great show. Uh, you know, my question today is. Um, I belong to an organization, the National City Lions Club down here, and we deal with a lot of needy families and handicapped children and what have you. But my question is, uh, what is the process for going through to the Make-A-Wish Foundation if we have somebody we think is worthy of their their uh, their cause? There, what's the process? What do we what do we and what do we have to do? Good question. Yeah, that's a good question, and and. You know, we we actually have the Make a Wish uh, folks come out every couple of years to our clinic just to kind of keep keep our clinicians and staff, uh, you know, in the loop on how to do it. So online, I'd say, is probably the easiest way to uh, go because it doesn't need to be a doctor uh, or somebody from the hospital that does a referral. So they they have an online uh, referral source. Uh, there's a a, a a paper a pamphlet you fill out. You provide the information uh, with. Uh, you know, with enough contact information. And then what ends up happening is Make-A-Wish will reach out to um, frequently to the family physician to get some further information, um, and, you know, and they, they have a list of, you know, for, you know, even for physicians, okay, this is what qualifies, this is what not, you know, what might not qualify. But even that, it's not, it's not hard set. There's, there's always variances that we see in medicine. So you can't just, uh, skin the cat the same way each time, as they say. Um, but I think that's the easiest way to do. You go to the, the Make-A-Wish San Diego website, and, and there'll be a link on there, make, you know, make a referral for a, you know, for a, a, a child. And um, at the end of the day, you know, so, sometimes the, uh, the, the patients or the kids don't qualify, but Make-A-Wish, was, they're going to do whatever they can, if it, you know. And, and if not, hopefully there's other resources that are available, you know, even with the good work that you're doing, you know, to help, help the kids. Yeah. All right, Jim. Thanks a lot. Good question. Appreciate that very much. Uh, you uh, said in your practice you often see uh, ones that you'll refer people to. Yeah. So I just, you know, I was, I was talking before. I have this, this little girl, uh, Ariana, who, uh, who I've been following a long time. She happens to be a twin which I think makes things harder. So her, her brother is, you know, healthy, and she got diagnosed with this, we call it a neurodegenerative disorder, basically. And think of a neurological uh, disorder where you just your body slowly deteriorates, and, you know, she's, she's going to pass away. Uh, but it's really hard because her brother is exactly the same age, and she's watching him get older and, you know, develop normally, and she's losing, you know, skills that she had obtained, you know. Uh, can't walk anymore. She's in a chair. But, you know, I, I referred her because she'd kind of fallen through the crack. She didn't have cancer and she wasn't in the hospital. And then those kids always get put through. And so I did talk with her a little bit, you know, start thinking about what you what you want. So the wish granders got involved and she wanted a therapy dog. And so every time she'd come in and like, oh, they're still training the dog, but I get pictures. And so she was just, she was the saddest kid. And then she came in and she, the first thing she does, she pulls up her cell phone. She shows me pictures of this dog. And it is just, it's like the, the shining light in her life. That's Aww. so cool. So yeah. It's just, it's just really awesome to see that. Yeah. yeah. That's just one example. I don't know in sports medicine, you see too many things that you refer or. Uh, right. Not directly to, to make a wish. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm dealing more with the injured athletes. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> they have they have broken egos. Shortstop's not hitting as good exactly, as he should be. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's not something that make a wish takes care of. Sorry. No. Yeah. No. Indeed. Hey, let's go ahead and jump back in the phones. Eight five eight four five seven ten ninety. You got it, man. How about we talk to Pablo? He's calling from Chula Vista this morning. Hi, Pablo. Welcome to Let's Talk Up. Hey. Good morning, guys. What's up, Pablo? Yeah, buddy, I just want to thank you all for yesterday. That was so much fun. Yeah, thanks to the guys at North County Ford for their great uh, hospitality, too, and they're good, good people out there. No doubt. That was a fun event. It was. Um, I was going to ask, I've I've been on the, um, what's that, the the Liberty 
Do you know they have bunks? Do they have plugs where you can plug in something? Like I have sleep apnea. Do you know if there's plugs by the by the bunks? Many I can take of, my machine. Many of the sport boats do have uh, facilities for that. You'd have to call the landing and and say I need a special bunk with that facility in it. Yeah, I would I would think that they'll be probably be able to accommodate. I just don't know the answer. Just like like say you you nailed it, Pete, for sure. Just yeah. give them a call, but they're they'll know right away and they'll be able to put you in the right spot. They have generators. They have plugs. I'm sure yeah. they have. I was gonna <laughs> worst case scenario. They got extension cords. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> why, why why are you sleeping and not fishing the whole time? That's what I want to know. You got to get there first. <laughs> but I was gonna say I've been going to Make a Wish for a really long time, and that is a great event, and I really. Uh, you guys are great. The things you do for kids, it's amazing. All right. I want to say thank you for everything. That's nice. You're Thanks welcome. for the call. Appreciate that very much. All right. Pablo, and I believe you were the winner of the casting contest yesterday. Is that right? Yes, I was. Hey, nice. The Shimano done, Pablo? casting contest. Which reel did you use, Pablo? Um, I don't know what it's called. The small silver one. Okay. Uh, Calcutta. 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 D. Calcutta. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna have to buy me one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you've been practicing, obviously. Cause yeah. Of course. Practice. All right. Well, congratulations. Good job. Congratulations, and you qualify for that great prize too. So, fast lane kayak, kayak, and a trip to Sedro Sport Fish or Sedro Sedro's kayak fishing. Thanks to Jeff Mariani, and uh, and then also the. Uh, trip for two to Rancho Air on Alaska Airlines. So uh, that's going to be a good one. If you were to win, which one would you choose, Pablo? You know, uh, do you have a six-pack one here in town? Well, that's, yeah, that's the uh, the trip on the blackjack. Uh, it's a, it's a four-pack, yeah. I have a hard time flying. I have um, health issues. Yeah. So and uh, that's what I would choose. You might have to take that four-pack. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Very good. That wouldn't be a bad call either. That's a trip, on the black, either. trip on the black jacket at Dana Landing. Yeah. Indeed. I know it. I love it. All right. Hey, People Pablo. do you do. Yeah. Thanks, Pablo. Appreciate the call this morning very much. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phone. Sounds good. But if you guys want your shot, a great opportunity call. Been a very busy morning. 858 457 1090 or toll free at 877 792 1090. We're going to talk to Corey, calling us from Escondido this morning. Hi, Corey. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi, Corey. Hello, Corey. Hey, thanks to Make-A-Wish for all the great things they do. I've had a couple family members who've been uh, affected and helped out by Make-A-Wish, and it's uh, pretty awesome what you guys do, so thank you. That's nice. Welcome. Um, quick catch report. I talked to you last week, Pete, when you had Dale Hightower on, and he gave me the tip about Seaguar. I was taking some family out on a half day. Uh, we ended up uh, going out half day fishing, and the boat caught about 160 fish. Uh, the three in our group with the uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon leaders tied on uh, probably caught close to 90 of those fish on that trip. So, wow, uh, rad. So it made it, it, work. it made a difference. <laughs> That's cool. It made a big difference. Uh, I was fishing up on the bow with uh, you know with some bait and the fluorocarbon leader, and they they kicked me off the bow after I hooked up on 13 straight casts. I kind of got some dirty looks, so I went back and hid in the back of the boat. <laughs> oh, wow, cool. good for you. But uh, you... wanted to say thanks for the tip and thanks for everything you guys do. Yeah, and you were aboard the Daily Double with Captain Fred Huber? Uh, actually, the Daily Double did not run that day. That's the boat we were supposed to be on, but he had some bait tank problems that day, so we ended up switching over to the new Seaforth that day. Oh, very oh, nice. cool. Okay, well, cool. Glad you had such a good trip. Yeah, glad it was fun. It, All right. It was cool. awesome. Yeah, Thank you. Good for you, Corey. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Appreciate that. Uh, All right. We're going to jump right back into him. Charlie in Gardena, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Charlie? Hey, good morning, guys. How's everything going there? Great. Good Thanks. morning. Rick, I was wondering if you could elaborate a little bit more on how to rig the uh, flying fish, the size of the hook, what to do with the wings, and you talked about a balloon a little bit. Is that balloon meant to be a, like a large balloon meant to be put on a kite reel so you can retrieve it, or is it just disposable? Um, well, Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Um, the the hooks with a flying fish are, are varied. Um Long range fishing for the longest time, we just fished one single big hook, whether it be a circle or a J, most commonly a big circle hook. And, uh, the hook goes through the back of the flying fish, um, kind of where you would, where you'd put like a double treble rig, you know, behind the gill plates by a couple inches, not quite in the middle, but, you know, farther, farther forward. In be, call it in between the, the, the middle of the back and the, 
and the gill plates, you know, somewhere around the dorsal fin area, a big single hook. Um, the other method that is commonly used is similar to a double trouble type rig where you have two lines coming off of a single swivel, and you often put a J hook in the front of that, and that usually hangs about three or four inches taller than the rear hook, which is often a treble hook, um, so that when it's hanging, it kind of hangs at a at a slight diagonal, so the head uh, is, is up, so it just um, it rides, kind of skis through the water a little better than than drag. And those would be the two most common ways to to rig them. And then with a balloon, I guess it would depend if you were just using a balloon by itself. It would be a disposable thing, and if you were attaching it to a kite, then you're you know you're physically tying or taping the balloon to the kite itself. Um, Obviously, the kite has a release clip, and you know the the balloon and kite stays intact. If you were just fishing a, you know a, a solo balloon on itself upon the bite, the balloon goes away. Captain Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide, has a great video on how to rig the balloon on a kite. Uh, if you subscribe to his website. It's a smart thing to do. uh, That's how I learned how to do it. Because it's a very easy process that is very difficult to describe and super easy to retain the knowledge if you're watching somebody do it. I mean, there's there's not much more to it than tying the kite off. And, you know, at least in our case, we we put a piece of twine, you know, around it. But it's just one of those things that if you're watching the video, you're going to you're going to get it instantly. And trying to describe over the radio is not the not nearly as easy. Yeah. I, think I would it's highly a great recommend call. doing that. Inexpensive yeah, sure. and, a, and a very yeah. good tutorial. Yeah, you'll learn. Hey, good luck with that. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming right, including more of your phone calls. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Chelsea from Dana Landing in Mission Bay. We are truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjack. Perfect up to four anglers or the impulse up to six anglers in comfort and style. Dana Lanning has a huge tackle shop with everything you need to go fish bay bass, tuna, or marlin, and our staff will dial you in. We even have Mexican and California fishing licenses and reel repair. Our deli at Dana Lanning is a local's favorite with all the food, ice, and beverages you need. Hey, need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the ultimate in rods and reels, the latest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has a stop second to none when it comes to sharing their passion for fishing. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check out danalandy.com for more details. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalStar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalStar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalStar at fine tackle stores everywhere. 38 years ago, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They sold catamarans because they wanted to do what they loved and sell what they loved to do. They wanted to share their passion with others, share the stoke. I'm Hayden Lane, and over the last three decades, my parents have shared that passion with thousands of people, my brother, sister, and I among them. We grew up right there at the shop in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay, sailing on the bay, fishing off the docks, and later off the Hobie Mirage kayaks. We grew up surrounded by the water. Our shop was filled with tools that Hobie and other brands have made to enjoy on the water. And I use them all. I mean all of them. Wouldn't you? So when you come into the shop, you're not going to hear a salesperson trying to convince you to buy something. You're going to hear us bragging about how much fun we have on these toys and telling you to do the same. We test every product out there, and we only sell the best because we want to use the best. So check out our website at FastLaneKayaking.com or get on down to the shop in Dana Landing and find your next adventure. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the Long Range Fishing Experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back, 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality Long Range Voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at RoyalStarSportFishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4767. 
864. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer Resorts have become a destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts. Resorts, the East Cape's finest. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader, the home of ESPN Radio, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Been a busy morning this morning. If you want to get through, still a great opportunity. Two ways that you can do that. Again, our local line, that's 858 area code 457 1090 or 877 792 1090. Both have an open line right now and both have an opportunity for you to win 100 tickets to that killer Make a Wish raffle. Yeah, indeed. I want to talk about our app, our Let's Talk Hookup app. Yeah. A lot of people have taken advantage of it, thousands of downloads loads on it and if you haven't downloaded it on your uh, either at the iTunes store or, or your uh, your uh, your app store on your uh, i uh, whatever that is an apple device. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say yeah, your or smartphone your yeah. smartphone yeah or the or on android devices you can do it on the google play store it's available on either side you can listen to let's talk up live you can even call the show on the app you can listen to our archives you can listen to our classic archives adam does a great job yeah. keeping that thing going and Making it uh, making it work so well, uh, we're very grateful for his work. But it's a really very very well engineered, well done app, uh, and uh, we were very proud of it. So if you haven't taken advantage of the Let's Talk Hookup app, just go to the uh, store, uh, either Google Play or the iTunes Store, and uh, and download the Let's Talk Hookup app. Very easy to find and. Very, and, and it's free. It's totally free. It's absolutely free. So and It really does make listening to the show easier. All yep. you have to do, I, I can't tell you how many guys have come by the shop. Hey, will you show me how to do that thing real fast? I'm not phone savvy. And, yep. I mean, it, it just becomes pushing one button for the app. The screen pops up, listen live, boom, click it, or or listen to archive show, boom, click that, and that's it. I mean, it, it yeah. just it'll make things easier. And the other cool thing too is like if you have a, a, a car with a Bluetooth in it, and you can hit sources, and you can source your phone and listen to it on, like you would listen to the radio, totally right in the car. So uh, makes it makes life a lot easier to listen to either to recorded programs or. Live, let's talk hookup app. We also have all our social media on there: Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channels. There's some great YouTube stuff up there, including uh, the one, the trip from Cat My Lodge uh, that Dallas, uh, Ricky's fiance, put together. Great video. Isn't that fun? That's yeah, a great that's cool. video. And we'll have more coming up on there. I know Tommy P did a video on uh, on Tony Reyes. He did a video on on uh, on Cedro sport fishing, which I'll be putting up soon. So uh, keep an eye on that. It's all available on our app. Uh, let's talk hook up and just search it in your pl uh, store and you'll get to it there for sure let's go ahead and jump in the phones rick you got it well, they're getting packed back up again if you want to get through 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090 let's talk to doug call us from montebello this morning hi doug welcome to let's talk hook up yo doug did we lose doug Looks like Doug might have walked away from his phone okay. temporarily. Okay, well, we'll lose Doug there. <laughs> so back to the talking about Make-A-Wish Tuna Challenge. Once again, it is a tuna challenge. Tuna is like kind of the focal point. Um, how many boats do you anticipate? And, and uh, Like in past history, how many boats and, and what do you anticipate for this year? Uh, well, we usually in the past few years we've we've gotten around 90 boats or so. Wow! Uh, back back That's in a big the tournament. back yeah. in the day when the big eye were here and the albacore were here, we've had upwards of 125 boats. Uh, I think we had like up our to, record. The record was uh, I think 149 boats uh, one year. Wow! <laughs> That's Incredible. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. And boats of all sizes. Yeah, like I That's said, we've got the large boat and small boat division just because the 
a lot of the smaller boats can't compete with the big boats for that for that range for the, you know with the fuel. Well, I think I, I'm going to kind of beg to differ with you maybe <laughs> well, this it's, year it's because get, it's getting better. A lot of those guys under 25 feet and under are are making their long runs faster and getting yeah, to, to the fish. It's yep. So so it is it is it is kind of narrowing, but yeah. you know the bigger boats have bigger bait capacity. And yes. So there is a little difference. So we try to we try to make it fair that you're not competing against. You know the the real bigger boats. If you have a small so boat, we've had we've had somebody win the tournament with a twenty foot boat, get two big eyes, a double at the. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I so totally remember that. Kevin and Deb Beto. So it's like it it can be taken by anybody. You know. Yeah, it could happen. So yeah. what about um what about how to if you don't have a boat, uh, is there any way to get into the tournament if you don't have a boat? Um, it it is tough. Uh, if if you have a friend with a boat, call them up. Yeah. Get them get them go. You know, get them in the tournament. Can you charter a um, boat? Can you charter a six pack? No. Um, we used to have a charter boat division. It was it was separate. Um, uh, but we've done away with that this year. We just didn't get that many. Okay. Right. Uh, There's not a separate charter boat yeah. division, but you could charter a, if, charter a boat, pay the entry fee. Well, and, yeah. no, we, we not, no, no, you can't you can't hire a captain. Oh, no. you cannot hire yeah. a captain. Okay. No, we, I yeah. mean we do have a few of the a few of the charter boats that they enter their boat as a team, and they're not you know they get their sure. friends fishing on, and they're all just paying. They're they're just sure. a private boat that yeah. day. But yeah, you cannot hire a captain. Okay. All right. So. Um, how much does it cost to get in the tournament? Um, we, we we just missed the early bird because the early bird registration ended at the end of July, but it's one hundred and five dollars per angler for adults. Um, juniors is forty dollars per junior now. And how um, old is a junior? And we have two different divisions for juniors. So we have it's under sixteen. Um, we have a, a twelve uh, twelve to fifteen year old division, and then under twelve years old. So two different divisions, and they have their own prizes nice. for the juniors. Wow. What are some of your more memorable winners over the years? You know, like fish that have stuck out to the one, like you mentioned, you know, a, a couple getting a double on Big Eye. Like, what have been some of the fun ones that you recall from over the years? I mean, well, yeah, that that one was awesome, as I remember uh, Kevin and Deb telling the story. And I, I remember that they went to gap one fish and they put the other rod in the rod holder and then the uh, – and then the, it was one of those floppy rod holder things, and they came back, and the rod was like they fortunately put the clip on. Basically, the rod was in the water with, oh, the, with, no, the, with no the fish, way. you know, pulling on it, yeah. you know, you know, by a, by a tether. And, and they got those at the 302. 302, yeah. yeah and, the, okay. and, the, and the rest of us went way out. <laughs> yeah. so we way overshot them, and they, yeah, stayed, cool. they stayed close. Yeah, the, I mean, and there's there's just there's been some well, I think great catches. Usually, I think two years are. ago, uh, Tony Deliva got that 250 something pounder, 259 pounder. That was actually the tournament record, and yeah. you know, and he hasn't caught a lot on the on the kite, and he caught I think one other fish, you know, like a 75 mm-hmm. pounder, but just you know, towards dark and and won the whole tournament with one really really outstanding fish. Wow, That's so cool, pretty awesome. Yeah, some really really, and well, you know, when you catch fish, you got to learn how to cook it, and our buddy. Yanni from Fisherman's Valley is going to tell us how to do it. Good morning, Yanni. Good morning, gentlemen, and good morning to all the fishermen out there. And speaking of tuna, oh, my God, have I got a special, special recipe for you guys today. Last week, I was invited to Accurate Reels, and I got to meet the marketing manager, Justin Poe, and we instantly start talking about food, fish food. He told me the night before he had made tuna rolls for his whole family, So all the way home, I kept thinking, tuna rolls, tuna rolls. I haven't had one of those, and I absolutely love them in so long. So I spent a lot of time and effort. I made a great video recipe to teach all the fishermen out there with all their tuna how to make the perfect, simple, easy, and tastiest tuna rolls on the planet. Ooh. Nice. That sounds good, Yanni. Oh, my God. It's so easy and simple, but there's some real critical techniques and points and once you master them you'll become a tuna rolling fool i guarantee it (laughs) that's That's fantastic well how do we find that recipe yanni oh my god well it's on my website fishermansbelly.com it'll be on your website very soon and it's on my youtube channel fisherman's belly channel so go over there and learn how to make a tuna roll well that's so cool about what your recipes is not only at fishermansbelly.com do you list the recipe <clears throat> that you also have a video where you show them how to make it 
You know, yeah, I do. And I've always learned that way. I've been the kind of person that learns from just watching. And I really take my time and explain the details of how to do it. And, yeah, you're right. I enjoy making those videos. Yeah, well, keep it up, Gianni. We'll have it on our Angler's Table section of Let's Talk Hookup.com very soon. But right now you can get the tuna roll, Fisherman'sBelly.com. Thanks, Gianni. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. You bet. Have a great day, you guys. All right, Johnny. You too. And, and you know, <clears throat> Dave Hansen must be fishing. I guarantee he's <laughs> out guide. chasing bluefin somewhere right you now. Think? Yeah, no yeah. doubt trying to gather and up some info for fish dope. Of, yeah, well, that's it. Hook up now is the code. Twenty bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com. Use the code hook up now uh, for a new membership to fishdope.com. You need that code. You need fishdope.com because I guarantee you Dave will have some new information on there by this afternoon. No, no doubt about it. Yeah. And that report sponsored in part by Gamakatsu Hook, Japan's leading fish hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation, strength and durability. Hey, lo- local tuna, local yellowtail, local dorado, it's happening. And the Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hook is your go-to hook. It's the strength and durability and the right design that makes it easy to hook your bait and put fish on the deck. Get Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hooks at your favorite tackle store. And if you're going on our Let's Talk Hookup Dan Ab Searcher trips this month, there are going to be plenty of Gamakatsu hooks because they're sponsoring that trip, those trips uh, uh, on there, along with some great prizes. And Patrick G will be oh, there, the, the host on both of them. So those are going to be really, really fun, fun, fun trips. And <clears throat> both of those trips are sold out. But we do have our two-day trips on the Liberty in September that still have availability. So if you want to go on the Liberty on a two-day trip, it's 650 bucks includes your food, two-day trip on the Liberty, lim- ultra, ultra limited load on those trips. Which with the D- Liberty 2, obviously brand new rebuild boat, very, very comfortable accommodations. The food they provide is killer. I mean, that's going to be an awesome trip. Yep. So go sign up at Fisherman'sLanding.com. On the on the September trips, just go search the Liberty for September, and you'll see them right up there. Yeah, no doubt. Fun trips. All right. Well, hey, let's jump back into these phones. Talk to Dean calling from Point Loma this morning. Hi, Dean. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? What's up, Dean? Morning. Good. Hey, uh, next week, uh, you know, middle of the week, I'm going to head out in my whaler out of Point Loma, and with this warm water, I'd love to hook up with uh, uh, some of those Dorado, and then, of course, uh, any other fish i could get at the patties but uh can you point me uh, I, I can do 25 miles offshore without a problem uh can you point me in the right direction you know i'm looking you know 181 182 out uh 20 30 miles uh, you got any tips for me in what direction what do you guys think yeah my, my tip would be get fish dope yeah they'll tell you yeah they'll tell you they'll give you the coordinates and they'll tell you where, where they caught them yesterday so that's where you want to go for probably about the the cost of a, a one tank of gas on your boat, you could have it for a full year, and they'll tell you where to go. Okay, yeah. so that's it. They're running a special now at yep. uh, fish, uh, for twenty bucks or fish, something. Fish, fishdope.com. It's one hundred and sixty nine dollars a year for a full year of access. Twenty okay. bucks, and you use twenty bucks off. You get it for one forty nine. Uh, use the code at checkout. Hook up now. Lowercase, no space. Hook up now. But fishdope is. I mean, we could tell you to go here, go there today, but by Wednesday or Thursday when you're going to go out, it could be totally different. And, sure. And, sure. And, and basically it could save you a trip of basically catching nothing or catching something. Fish yeah. was nice, too, because it, in addition to the, you know, the synapses of what was caught that day, they have uh, water charts, you know, that show you – um, water sea surface temperature chart, so they'll show you where that water has been moving, and then they'll overlay like these little, you know, little areas. Well, this, you know, this was caught here, this was caught there. So you'll see like a trend. You know, hey, there's a, you know, down whatever on the ridge on the 181 to the 182. There's a there's a band of you know colder water on one side and warmer water on the other, and then there'll be all these little icons of well, these guys caught all these fish, and you'll know. Okay, well, all that fish or maybe all these kelp patties are stacked up on that hot edge of that chart, so it'll kind of it'll draw the map for you on on the direction yeah. to go. It's a it's a great service. But there's plenty of opportunity uh, within 20 or 30 yeah, miles. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Fish. And it's I think it's really helpful, like what Rick said, because everybody says, "Oh, I'm going to go to the 302," and then you got 30 boats parked there, 
and often, you know, often the fish are, are on it, often they're on the edge, often they're not even on the bank at all. And so if you can get away from some of the boat traffic, you can look and see where those edges are. Uh, to me, that, those are often the more productive areas where you don't have as many boats and you can find some kelps that haven't been hit and, you know, get on the fish there. So it's really important to, to you know, to look at the pattern, what what the water looks like, where the edges might be, where the kelps might be, and uh, and not just say, hey, I'm going to pick a bank and this is my bank. To this go is to. where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm always a proponent too of like don't don't clear don't clear Mission Bay or Shelter Island and then you know point the autopilot for the top of the 302 and run out there like you know go run five miles to the west and then go there. I mean ev- every boat leaves the jetties at Mission Bay and then does a straight line for whatever you know quote unquote bank they're heading for you know go five miles west just so you're driving through an area that hopefully hasn't been you know I mean. If, Obviously, every you know you still have to see a kelp patty to catch it, and a hundred yards can make a difference. But if there's a big giant garage door kelp patty with a bunch of birds, and, and it's on a straight line to the 302, it's probably going to get probably hit by a bunch of people. Times, you know, but yeah. if you're four or five miles to the west, it's a big deal. And then the one last thing I'll throw at it, and I I am very aware that they are not inexpensive, but if you're doing this type of fishing, which is a visual fishing, you know, finding a kelp patty, there is there is just no there is no weighing the cost of a good stabilized pair of binoculars. Yep. You know, good binoculars in visual fishing when you're looking for kelp patties or birds, you know, good binoculars will extend the distance that you can see from a couple hundred yards to a couple miles, you know. So if instead of looking at a piece of water that's the size of a pencil eraser, you're looking at the size of a piece that's the size of a coffee mug, it, it, it's, it will it – will, catch you more fish than anything else will so get fish dope to put you in the right zone and get a good pair of stabilized binoculars to help you find that fish once you get there and you'll be in good shape there you go thanks a lot for the phone call this morning that does free up 858-457-1090 or eight seven <clears throat> excuse me eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety you know we were talking about um we were talking about gyros and those kinds of things and I know that you you have the same glasses as I those those Fraser Volpes yep. and, and that I mean if, if if the time and the budget and things allows I think that is I, I think that that's the best money well spent but but if that budget isn't there there are good pairs of stabilized binoculars are not quite going to be gyro you know as good but they're the the difference is just it, it's not it's uncomprehendable okay so I have a little tip for you is that please a little inside tip. I'm, I'm ready our buddy Jimmy Kingsmill mm-hmm. uh, from gyropros.com just received a few pair of Mariners re- oh. con- reconditioned Mariners oh cool. The six thousand yeah. dollar Mariner. Yeah, yeah. Right? The best, the best of the best. Three thousand dollars. No wow. kidding. Yeah, that, with, that a happened, one, with a one year warranty. That happened yeah. once before, yep. and they all got gobbled up. That's yep. a really. You, I don't know if he has any left. Yeah, sure. But you might shoot a note to gy- go to gyropros.com and try and get a hold of Jimmy to see if you can grab one of those. But I'm telling you, um, it's. It's a it's, it's the it's best. A, it's the best, and it's a deal. Yeah, that's crazy. It's 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 you're not going to find a deal like that. Now you can go down to Baker and get a pair of the Fujinon stabiscopes for what are they about eleven hundred bucks? Uh, like Techno stabies. You can get for about eleven hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. bucks. Stabiscopes are going to run you about five grand. Okay, that that's the the next. But the mm-hmm. Techno stabies. Yeah, Techno stabies are are about eleven hundred dollars. And uh, and I'll say one thing about Baker and those guys too. You can probably do a bunch of prowling on ebay or some electrical site and maybe find them for about a hundred dollars less which is you know i mean i'm not shaking my head at a hundred bucks but the reason you spend slightly more and get them from baker is anytime there is an issue you've got a the best service in the world no at shelter island to walk down and talk to for for me the slight savings that one might find from an online wholesaler don't even come close to the worthiness of being able to go to someone and say, hey, man, I'm, I'm having a problem, or I need eye cups, or this happened or that happened. And those are like the we're, – we're just lucky that, like, the the world experts in binoculars happen to be on Shelter Island. Yeah. You know, they're, they're not like the local guy that you go to. They're, they're who – Everybody in the world sends their stuff to. They just happen to be in our you yard. You guys here are in San both Diego. shaking your heads. I know Ken. Hundred percent agree. Yep. I just had yep. a pair of mine fixed that uh, I don't know how they got dropped on some some trip, and they they got them all fixed up for me. And that yeah. definitely the go-to place. Yeah, I mean, and can you imagine? I mean, y- people come on the boat and they pick up the these. Uh, they go they go. How much are these binoculars? I'm like, well, they're five thousand dollars. I was like, 
what? <laughs> it's like, but then they look at them and they go, well, wow. You know, yeah, I, I mean, how do you, I mean, today, how do you fish without them, really? That, exactly. Yeah. You know? they, they were, yeah. They were it's gold. pretty ridiculous. To have it's, to super, pay. it's super yeah. ridiculous. But, but to you be, to, you're not in the game anymore yes. unless you have a pair of gyro stabilized rockers. But again, if you can't afford, get one of these reconditioned mariners yeah. from gyropro.com, which is, I'm telling you. That's the deal that's of the, the century. Deal yeah. of the century. They're six thousand dollar Mariner binoculars for five for three thousand dollars. Trust me, ne- that are just reconditioned. Neither Neil nor I are rich dudes. I can assure you that. You know, we don't have a ton of dough. We have two pairs of Frasers on the boat because you you can't you can't weigh the cost of how much more fish that they catch us versus versus anything else. I mean, if you're it, it serious is, about it, it yeah. is it, it you know on a on a boat like all of us have and, until you get to the level of having a you know, a, a, a side scanning, you know, searchlight sonar, th- that is the next best fishing tool, at least for us that we have. You know, most of what we see is with our eyeballs. You know, we see a bird, we see a kelp, we see a breezer. And if you can extend your range from, like I said, a couple hundred yards to a couple of miles, you're you're just, you're fishing three times the area that would. Now you put two of those on board and you're looking in both directions. I mean, it's a it's it is an in you know it's an immeasurable difference. Yeah, no doubt about it. But, but so that well, I'm saying, if you can't do the three thousand or the six thousand, get the techno yes. babies from yes, Baker yes, yes. for eleven hundred bucks, right? Yeah, I, I absolutely. You don't yeah. if the yes, yeah, bud- it's still a lot of money. Yeah, right? and I'm it's not still denying a huge that amount for sure. Of money, but for a pair of binoculars, but it, it is the best tool. If you're going to burn a small if, boat, if you have a small boat, if you have a big boat. Big boat or small boat, you got to have them, right? We, we know what but, it's like to fill up the gas tank. I have a yeah. 25-foot parker. Yeah. I mean, if, you, if you're talking a full day of fishing and fuel, I mean, it, it only takes a couple of trips before you cover that cost. I guarantee you those binoculars will catch you more fish than anything else. And that's from a guy that sells fishing tackle for a living. What I should tell you is like, oh, yeah, no, this, this lure is going to make the difference. <laughs> but it's not. You know, a good pair of binos will, will be the difference. you you got to do it. Indeed. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phone. Sounds good, man. How about we talk to Ed? He's called us from San Diego this morning. Hi, Ed. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Uh, good morning, fellas. Just a um, note to the Make-A-Wish fellas. My sister um, applied, and they couldn't make the, the wish at the place she wanted they gave us referrals to a fellow who does uh, set designers up at uh, Disneyland, and they uh, crafted like a, a set where she could be there at the house and have the dinner that she really wanted, and it was great. And the Make Wish made that come true locally, although they couldn't provide the trip to where she really wanted to go, and it was great. And I'm, I, my whole family is deeply grateful. Yeah, that's, wow, that's great. great! What a what a great story, and that's a classic example of wow. The money that you guys work so hard to to to, to generate for this tournament, some of the stuff that uh, that they do, uh, they are miracles sometimes for these kids, right? Yeah, absolutely, and they'll 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 figure it out. You know, there's you know your your sister was able to put together the wish, and if they can't do it themselves, they're going to find somebody else, or or somehow that they're going to put something together that's going to just be something that you uh, are going to remember for the rest of your life. How big is the San Diego Make-A-Wish organization? Do you guys know? It's um, I'm trying to remember how many wishes that they do a year. I think it's 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 definitely over 200 wishes, and they they actually work with Imperial County as well because there's there's not a chapter up there, so it's you know it's San Diego and Imperial counties, and so it's you know it's a big chapter when you look at chapters across the country and we have listeners orange county la and beyond there's chapters in every every city i'm going to guess right yep and yeah and and each individual one works hard and 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 puts uh money together to grant kids wishes yeah very good ed thank you for sharing that story with us we appreciate the call this morning hey when we come back speaking of make a wish we're going to find out who's got a hundred tickets coming their way for the big make a wish banquet you stay tuned there's more let's talk hookup coming your way on the mighty 1090 This is Captain Art Taylor of Searcher Sport Fishing. Come join our season crew led by Captain Aaron, Remy, and me on a fishing adventure to remember. Our 2018 schedule is available now with multi-day trips to fit your budget. The Searcher has remodeled cabins, an RSW system to preserve your catch, and great meals prepared by our chefs. Don't wait. Book your adventure online now at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. That's 619-226-2403. 
619-226-2403. Visit searchersportfishing.com. I got a garage full of fishing tackle, and every time I get out on the water, I realize I forgot something important. But I never forget my life jacket. I make sure my buddies wear theirs, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all those miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pongas. We have dive ships. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-Baja. And RanchoLandAero.com. It's unique. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro is home to L.A.'s finest open party fleet, including overnights on the Freedom, Catalina Freelance on the Pursuit, half-day trips on the Monte Carlo, and three-quarter-day trips on the Native Sun. Plus, you can charter the Ultra, Spectra, and True Line. There is always plenty of free parking and a fully stocked tackle store. Take advantage of the Wednesday specials on the Pursuit in Monte Carlo, and kids fish free with a paid adult on the afternoon half-day. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. Call 310-832-8304 or book online at 22ndstreet.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, the big winner, 100 tickets to that killer Make-A-Wish raffle. That's going to Dean in Point Loma. Dean, congratulations. You're going to have such a good time at the banquet, the raffle, the food, the whole nine. It's an awesome event. And, man, I know we've said it a bunch of times, but i got to say it again. If you weren't the lucky guy like Dean and you're not going to participate in the event, you've got to go to that Banquet of Portuguese yep. Hall. Huge, huge event, and your money's going to make a wish. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, uh, guys, Brad, Ken, thank you for all you do for the kids and for Make-A-Wish Tuna Challenge. Once again, give us a lowdown. How do we participate? How do you get the boat in? And 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 other things, and if you can't fish in it, how much, how, do we do it? Yeah. How, much how much are the banquet tickets? How do you get a banquet ticket? All those things. So the tournament is the last weekend of this month, so it's the 25th, 26th, so the captain's meeting being Friday the 24th. You can go online, tunachallenge.org. The, all the rules and regulations are there. You can sign up online. Um, you can enter your team online. And if you can't fish it, you can come down to the banquet on uh, at Portuguese Hall on the Sunday. Uh, starts The event starts at 10 o'clock. Uh, the lunch will start around 1130 you can buy banquet, uh, you know, food tickets there for the lunch if you want to have lunch. But, but if you want to just come in and not not have lunch and just, you know, participate in the silent raffle, you you can come in for free. Oh, okay. And then buy tickets. And and buy take buy raffle tickets and or or, or just a silent auction. Or, yeah. Um, and okay. I um I believe the the if you want to buy lunch, it's going to be I think either ten or fifteen dollars. I can't oh, okay. remember which. Pretty, so yeah. Pretty nice. Awesome. Yeah. And that's at Portuguese Hall yeah. right there on Shelter Island. Correct. Yeah, Shelter Island Drive. And again. TunaChallenge.org. Correct. Down, it gives all the information, how you get into the tournament, the whole deal. Yep. All right. Everything's there. Fantastic. Well, great job, guys. Yeah, Thank this you is very great, much. you guys. And, Lots of fun. Uh, good luck bringing back the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> a big tournament there, the Make-A-Wish Tuna Challenge, August 25th and 26th uh, with a captain's meeting at Portuguese Hall on the 24th. All right. Thanks very much for listening today. Thanks to everybody who participated yesterday at North County Ford. Uh, we sure appreciate all the support you give us here to Let's Talk Hookup. Thanks to Adam on the other side of the glass. And good luck, Rick, at Cedros. Yeah. We'll uh, see you next Sunday back in the studio here. But next Saturday, a very special day. Corey Sandin, our co-host, and myself will be here with Mexico bass fishing pioneer Bill Chapman Sr. Yes, Bill that Chapman Sr. That is cool, Sr. dude. That is cool. We'll be cool. here along with Captain Frank Lopresti. That's next Saturday, 7 to 9 a.m. Then next Sunday, the one and only cast man, Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours, will be here to talk about fishing. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next week right back here on the Mighty 1090.